like to introduce Jim Corr again. Thanks again, Jim, for the interview because we did one a few in February in the Truth Movement, and uh, we're just going to catch up with you now. And um, this is more going to be more of a candid conversation. Just before the camera was rolling, we were talking about uh, the situation with our families and our kids, and the fact that you know myself and Steve and yourself, we've we've taken a stance, and we are trying to educate people and wake people up to what's going on. And it's very hard to do because we have our family who probably think we're mad. Um, we have friends who, you know, they kind of support us but they're still conditioned in a, the, their own certain way. Um, and um, it's just, a, it's hard to kind of step outside that bubble of society and be the individual. Um, and in my experience, um, I just found that I had to find that confidence and find who I, I was as, a, as an individual and as a person and accept the fact that, you know, I want to be who I want to be and I'm not going to bow down to what people want me to be. How do you feel about that? What's going on with you and your life? How do you feel? I mean, it's more, probably more difficult for you because you're in the media, mm. more so that people hear our voices but they don't yeah. see us. So. Yeah, well, I've been very honest, you know, as I, as I always am. Uh, it's it's uh, it has been pretty tough um, for for quite a while, and uh, I I've, I kind of feel like I've been feeling of late that I've been getting it from all angles, mm. um, and you know, not just you know, you kind of you expect the attacks from the corporate. Media, yeah, you would. Of course, and, yeah. you know, and anybody who goes against the grain of accepted thought has got to. Except that you're going to get attacked, you know, mm. and uh, ridiculed, and it's you know I I can take that I've kind of got used to it, but you know it, it's it upsets my family, mm. you know, understandably, mm. and uh, it's is especially with you know my family don't fully understand what I'm doing, you know, in mm. fact some of them don't understand it at all, mm. um, and. You know, so so you, you do. You have to be very, very strong and committed when you uh, when you want to fight peacefully for something that is right, whether yeah. it's telling the truth as you see it. Yeah. And it's uh, it, it is it is it's a difficult thing to do. That's why you know I, I, I love events like this because I'm getting to meet people who are heroes as, yeah. as far as I'm concerned. Who yeah. um, like like Doctor Doctor Andrew Wakefield who yeah. got up and. You know, and um, who's been accused of fraud and struck mm. off the register and uh, all that he's been subjected to, uh, which is absolutely horrendous for himself and his family. Mm. And um, these are very, very brave people. They're, they're heroes of mine. Um, and it's, 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 very, it's very important that, that this work is continued. I just feel at the moment that uh, what whenever I go out into the mainstream media and make my views known, mm. that it has become unfortunately counterproductive. Um, mm. I believe. Um, so I, uh, I say I need a rest from it. Anyway. Mm. So I'm going I'm to take a break and I'm just okay. going to start, start focusing on something else. I feel that I've uh, I've given an awful lot of myself and there was there's huge sacrifices involved. Mm. Um, I've possibly hurt my career. I don't know. Mm. Um, still, I think there are there are issues much more important than one's career, and what much more important than than ambition itself. And that's uh, why I did what I did. Mm. Um, I stand by absolutely everything that I've said in the past. Even if I came out and said it nervously and yeah. the delivery yeah. wasn't great, I stand by everything. Of course, I don't stand by the statements that have been attributed mm -hmm. to me that I've never made. Yeah. So no, I always, uh, I, I always say to people, you know, go, ba go back. If you think I said such a thing, I didn't say that. I actually, go back and watch the video again. You know. Yeah. Um, I think you're doing the right thing. I think, you know, sometimes I think we get we, we get to a fork in the road where, and I've reached that as well uh, at one point where you have to pull back and you have to kind of. We gather the troops, so to speak, and you know, see what's going on. There's certain things, the troop movement, and us wanting to wake people up. It's like this big secret that somebody tells you, and you want to tell everybody, and you're wondering why people aren't interested when you tell them, yeah, because yeah. they're so conditioned. Yeah. And I think I had to do the same thing when I when I opened up. 
to the, the New World Order and carried on and, and teaching people and then I had to pull back and go, right, I have to prioritise my life. I can't let it consume me because I have a family like you had and that's priority and there's other things in my life going on that need to be addressed which are priority. Um, so I had to pull back to a certain extent and do what I had to do. And when I got kind of that sorted and, and find out do I want to carry on promoting the, 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 uh, the truth movement? Do I want to be involved in it? Um, and I, the answer to me was yes, I wanted to be involved, hence why we didn't just set up the website, but we set up the radio station, and now that's hitting 85 countries at the moment, and we've emails coming in all the time, and guests coming on, which is fantastic. The amount of support we get from people around the world is brilliant. It's really, really good. We have, um, myself and Steve, we always say we have a face for radio. We have a bit of satire and we have a bit of fun because you have to have humor. Humor is fun. very important. Humor is very important. Energy is very important. Yeah. Um, so you know, I can understand where you're where you're coming from, and I'll have to I'll have to say that, you know, and we said this before in the last interview. You could easily sat down and said, "I'm not getting involved," you know, but whatever this, when people open up to what's going on, whatever this this truth is inside us in our soul. We just feel that we have to go and do it. Yeah. And obviously exactly. that's how you felt. You knew it was Absolutely. right and I had to well, be done. It was, it was an overwhelming urge. And I, I think I might have said this in the last interview. I don't, if I hadn't have spoken out, in particular about 9-11, because mm. it's kind of the most easiest uh, thing for people to get to, to understand, you know, once they probably start studying it. But if I hadn't have spoken out about it, I, I probably would have made myself sick, you know? Yeah. Psychosomatically. Yes. Yeah. It's the right thing to do, you know. You gotta, you gotta speak out against injustice. You know, it's very important. And it's, you know, as that saying goes, um, uh, you know, evil prevails mm -hmm. uh, when, when, when good men and women do nothing. Exactly. You know? Yeah. So you, you gotta speak out. You gotta mm -hmm. expose the um, not just the agendas, but also the the, uh, the operations of the the dark workers. I yeah. call them these people that are. Um, you know, staging terrorist attacks against their own populations to further an end mm. that are invading these oil rich countries under the pretense of mm. spreading democracy, etc. etc. Mm. These oil rich countries are, it's, I mean, there's awful stuff going on, but I, <clears throat> at the same time, I've got great hope, um, and uh, there is an awakening happening. Although, although we might, we might, it might appear to be slow, there is an awakening happening. Mm. And uh, you can even see it within the mainstream media where they've got no choice but to cover certain events like we've Marion Finucan talking about the Bilderberg Group today. Brilliant. You know, um, they, you know they, they have to, as, as Luke was saying there earlier on in the stage, you know, they do have to cover snippets of this information but at the same time keep it as tight as they possibly exactly. can. You know, because unfortunately the media as a whole is op op operating as the propaganda organ for the establishment, you know. Mm. And... Um, I, I'm, I, it's not that I'm hugely anti-establishment. I'm not. If they were doing, if they're genuinely working on the, you know, for the for the betterment of society, not just for the betterment of their greedy sick selves, mm. you know, I wouldn't have a problem. But you know, you got to highlight these things that they're doing. You know, mm. 